EJ123S, could you discuss how to use your TE if you are an ISFP? Thanks for that question, EJ1234567810. And what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to discuss how to use TE for ISFPs and also INFPs just because they both have the same problem. So as you can see here, the INFP and the ISFP have very similar function stack with the main difference having NESI versus SE and NI. And this is why INFPs and ISFPs have people problems because of the TE last. So let's first define what TE is. So extrovert thinking or TE is a tribe function. It's also giving reasons for the tribe. Reasons are not personal. It's about execution, efficiency, and effectiveness for the tribe in real time. It's making sure it works for the tribe. It's action oriented. So if you compare it to TI, the difference is that TE has a tribe spectrum on what will work best for everyone in the tribe. And you're gonna make sure that everything works for the tribe. People with TI can see the spectrum, but they pick what works for them. So the personality type that ISFPs and INFPs would want to look at in order to figure out how to best use TE would be the ENFPs and INTJs, as well as the ISTJs and ESFPs just because they have similar function stack to INFPs and ISFPs. So for example, the ENFP and ICJ has the same function stack as the INFP, while the ESFP and the INTJ has the same function stack as the ISFP. And these specific types are really balanced when it comes to self and tribe. As you can see, they have TE and FI right in the middle. And because they have it right in the middle, they're always doing things for themselves that they like and then they're doing things that would work for the tribe. And they're very balanced when it comes to those two functions. And that's how you wanna practice using this is doing something that you enjoy, but also making sure it works for the tribe. So how do you practice TE as an INFP or ISFP? Well, first thing that you need to keep in mind is that you must have the right attitude when it comes to practicing TE. And when I mean the right attitude, it means you actually want to help the tribe. You want to make the tribe happy. You want to do things for the tribe and you want to serve the tribe. If you don't have the right attitude, you can learn all the theory in the world and nothing's going to change in your life and make your life better. And you're not going to prevent that thing that you are scared of the most, which is tribe hate. So the first thing that you need to have is the right attitude. And once you have the right attitude and you want to be good with dealing with the tribe, you want to be good at making things work for the tribe. You want to make sure the tribe is happy then you are now the step in the right direction. So looking at the animals, the two ways that you can use TE is by using play or blast. So if you are an INFP, then you would use NETE, which is figuring out the tribe's reason whenever they want to do something and also gathering and figuring things out with the tribe with that NT. While with the ISFP, they're going to be using ST to gather facts from the tribe and finding out their concrete reasons for wanting to do something. You can also use BLAST. So if you are an INFP, you would use ST BLAST with the tribe. So then you would give them very accurate factual information. Well, if you are an ISFP, you would give them NT concepts, meaning more logical and abstract based concepts that you can use to help the tribe. Now let's look at more practical ways that you can practice TE in the real world. So a good way for beginners, and this is good for absolute INFP and ISFP beginners, is to make time to hang out with your friends. So go make the effort to invite a friend out and just hang out and listen to their stories about their life. It's not about you, it's about them, and you really want to know more about them. So this is you using play. And then if they have some kind of problem in life, then guess what? Then you can give them a solution by blasting to them. A more intermediate and advanced way to be good at using TE is to actually help your friends. So for example, if you have a friend that is moving, then you go out of your way to go help them move on the day that they are moving. Your friends will never forget the time that you went out of your way to help them out. And this makes you a really good friend. Another good way to practice TE is just to make yourself available and say yes when your friends invite you to hang out instead of flaking on your friends. Now, you don't have to do this all the time. It's all about the 80-20 rule. So if you set aside 20% of your time to do things for the tribe, such as helping the tribe and doing things for the tribe, then you're gonna get 80% of the result, which is the tribe will like you a lot and they're gonna see you as a valuable member of the group. This is also a very good way to retain your friends. So over a long period of time, people start to lose their friends. 
And you're not going to be one of those people that lose their friends because you never put in the effort to be a good friend. So here's a very good example. Once a week, you are available to help your friends. You even reach out to your friends to hang out, spend time with them or help them with something that they need. And by just setting aside once a week to do this with your friend, and you don't even have to spend the whole day with them, you can spend, let's say, two to four hours with them, then it's going to make a whole world of difference in your life. You're going to avoid having tribe hate and being isolated and even kicked out of different tribe members, even to the point where people stop inviting you to places, stop inviting you to events, stop caring about you, and just completely avoid and ignore you because you just never made that effort to be a part of the group. However, if you take the time to practice your TE, make sure that things work for the tribe and you're not difficult to deal with when it comes to planning get-togethers or helping somebody, then you actually end up being the hero of the tribe and you keep the friends that you have for the rest of your life. And basically when you achieve something great, people actually care because a lot of IPs will achieve great things with their life. But if you have neglected your friends and family members, then it doesn't matter what you have achieved, no one cares.